Alright guys, welcome back to another video in the Vibe Cafe. Today we're going to be looking at a multitude of badges. So, first of all, the first badge that we're going to be looking at is the Mines. Um, I'm not sure if it is working um, or not, because the last time I checked it was not working, but there has been a new update, so it could possibly be working. And the second badge is the Au Revoir badge. And when you get this badge, you will get this awesome sword. So you might want to have between an hour and two hours of free time because this badge takes a while to get so first what we're gonna do is head over here right over by the subway and we're gonna go past it and we're gonna go up these stairs so we'll just keep walking and once we get up here you'll see that there's a little graveyard over here there or a gravestone a headstone whatever it's called uh... yeah so We'll go past the tombstone, and we'll go up this ladder right here. And it's a little tricky to get up. And then you go through this hole, and do a tiny bit of parkour right here. It's really, really easy. Just go over here, jump over that, and there you go. So, this, when you teleport into this, it should give you the badge. It hasn't given me the badge. I'm not sure why. Um, it's. I think it's still broken currently, but that's okay. So, you p might not get that badge, but that badge doesn't give you anything. So, what you want to do is go through over here, and you're going to see this big green thing. So, what you're going to want to do is to climb up it, and it will teleport you into a whole different game. And this is how you're going to get the Au Revoir badge. Um, and I recommend, again, that you have like an hour or two of free time, because it takes a while to beat. So. So it's teleporting to the dungeon. So now, we are in the giant castle. So, what we're going to want to do, and uh, just a little bit of a shaky camera warning. There's going to be a bit of a shaky camera as we're walking up. So, if that makes you motion sick or something, uh, sorry about that. So, I'm just going to keep walking. Yeah, there you go. See? Shaky camera. So, I've already completed this, but what you're going to see is four doors and this main door. This main door is going to be shut for you. And these symbols will all be um, unlit. So, uh, yeah. So, what I recommend doing is starting with the easiest because you can always come back to this game. So, if you just want to, you know, start off and leave and then rejoin you can do that so the easiest one is this one right here the purple uh, hourglass symbol so there are four challenges that you have to go through so this one all you have to do is simply wait five minutes so we're gonna cut back to five minutes later and yeah all right so we got ten min uh, ten seconds left on the timer um, so once this goes out the wall should uh, disappear and we should be able to walk through it so, yep, there we go. So, this is the easiest of the four. You just gotta wait for five minutes. So, we're going to go in here, pick up the hourglass. You should get an achievement for it. I've already gotten it since, of course, I've already completed this. So, uh, it'll zoom in on that, and it'll show you that you've got it, and it should teleport you back into the thing in just a sec. Yep, there you go. Alright. So, the next one that we're going to be doing is the moon one, as it is the next easiest. And then the sun one is the third easiest one, or the the second hardest one. And then the earth, this is earth, I, I know it doesn't look like it, but this is the earth. And it is the hardest one, because it takes the longest. So, well, we'll do that one, f we'll save that one for the last. So, essentially what this one is, is you just have to look down, and there are invisible platforms right where the things are. So the jumps are a little difficult. So you just gotta... I recommend doing this. That's That makes your life a whole lot easier.
over here pick it up and it should play the animation so we got that one so we, now we have the time and the moon one if you've been following along um yeah so that's that one it should teleport us back all right so the next one is going to be the sun one so this is the harder of the two obbies so it's a little more difficult but uh it's Again, as long as you have patience, you should be alright, so. This is a little annoying. Just gotta go across a thin line. Luckily, I think there are many checkpoints in this, so. If you do die, it doesn't really matter. There we go. So I recommend jumping sideways, because you can make the jumps easier. I say that as I. Do not jump sideways. Okay. Yep, we go. <laughs> Honestly, I honestly think the other one was a bit harder, but there you go. This is how to get the sun one. So those three were cakewalk, honestly, compared to what the earth one is going to be. So it'll show us the cutscene again. And we got the sun. And the final one left to do is the earth. So let's get into doing that. All right. The last one is the earth one, and this is going to be the hardest one. And I say hard as in the most time consuming. It is the hardest in that department. So it tells us to find three buttons around this area. And they're pretty spread apart. This is a pretty big area. I can't really zoom out to show you, but you'll see how you'll see how large it is. So just keep going. You see this little beacon thing right here, this beacon of light, so follow it. You'll see a bunch. You'll see snowy mountains and the desert area to the right, um, and those are where the other buttons are. But one of the buttons is over here in this grassy area. So, yeah, there's a deserty area right over here. So, seek out the three buttons, and the trial will be completed. So, what you're gonna want to do is head over here. And luckily, you get a lantern, so it'll make your life so much easier. So just uh, equip it because the caves that you're supposed to go through are very dark so just equip it so first you just want to climb over this and head forward and soon you should see this blue rock thing and yeah so I'll cut to that so here's the rock so we're gonna come up to it and just behind the rock let me close the chat because these people are talking so just behind the rock is the cave so once you get into the cave there are going to be different paths I have put in the chat right here M M M R L L L as in middle 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 right left left left. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna take those paths. So first one is the middle. Oh, this guy's right here. Okay. So first one's the middle. And then middle again. And then middle one more time. And then we go right. You'll see these blue rocks, you know you're going the right way. Take a left. Take another left. And take one last left. And you come across this big room with a bunch of blue stuff. You're going to want to unequip your thing. And I already clicked it, but you can go ahead and click it until these particles come out. So you'll see a bunch of particles coming out, and you know you clicked it. So, re-equip your lantern. 
head back out. So basically we're going to do the opposite. So now we're going to do right, 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 left, middle, middle, middle. So take the right path. So just walk right on out. And you got the first button. Congrats. All right. So. All right. So the next button is over by the snowy mountain. So I can see this little thing up here. So that's what we're going to want to go to. So we're going to climb up. And we're going to go into another cave, but in the mountain this time. So cut to that. All right. So now that we're at the cave, what we're going to want to do, this is a lot simpler. So we're going to go through. And we're going to go right, right, left, right. Okay, yeah, yeah that looked weird. Alright, so we're going to go through. It's a bit longer, but that's okay. <coughs> so right, we're going to take the right path. Then we're going to go down. Keep going. And we're going to take another right. And then we're going to take a left, and then we're going to finally take this last right. We should get down here. And once we go down, we should find the button. So just keep going down. Keep going. This one's a bit long. And... There is going to be a bit of parkour, I think. So we go over here. Just follow along this blue thing. See this guy jumping over here? This is how we're going to get the button. So this one actually does have a bit of parkour. I forgot about that. So it's not that hard compared to the other stuff. So just go over here and just make some of these jumps. I recommend going to the shift lock because it makes your life a whole lot easier. And luckily there are checkpoints, so it's not that difficult. I don't understand. Yeah, that, that jump's weird, so you will die on that jump, but uh, it will just teleport you to the next one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Get to that one, that one, this one, this one, and there you go. So then you can unequip that press it and wait for the particles to come and they could just jump off a bunch of times and it'll teleport you all the way back so just jump jump and there you go so now that we've done that let's cut back to where the cave entrance is well no we're not I mean the uh, I think the mazes are a bit weird so it's gonna take us down different paths but yeah see that yeah whatever it doesn't matter. It worked out. We're out of the cave. Wait. No, this is a different end of the cave. You know, this is very confusing, but either way, we made it out of the cave. And we got the second one. So, well, let's get to the third one. Alright, so, the final button is right over here. So the mountain is right here. The grass area is over here. So the desert uh, the last one is right over here, so we're going to have to go through here. And what you need to know about this area is that we're going to follow wherever the blue crystals um, sh uh, lead us to. So, uh, wherever they point to, that's where we're going to go. That's basically the rule. So, I have this. I'm not sure if it's completely accurate because uh, it's from a thing that I found, but we'll see. So, But I'm going to follow the crystals mostly. So. So you can see right over here that these blue crystals right over here. So we're just going to follow the where they point. And there's some weird areas that may not be as clear. So that's why I have the left right stuff here. Oh, I did not mean to type that. There we go. Okay. So yeah. So these point to go this way. So we're going to go this way. So we're going to come right over here. The crystals go over here. So just jump up this mound. Uh, up to here. I'm not sure if this counts as the left turn because there is no other option. There is no other pathway to go down, so I don't think that counts as a left turn. So we're just going to keep going. So, the crystals are on this side of the path. So I think it did 
count as the left turn because it says to go right next so the crystals are on this side so we're going to go down the right path so just keep going so we follow these crystals take another right right over here and then eventually we're going to come upon a left turn and we'll go left so just go this way uh, I don't think you, there's anything over here yeah there's there's nothing over here so we're supposed to take a left right over here this way into this little thing then keep going till we take a right right turn so we took a left now we take a right right where these crystals are the next turn we're going to take is the left one so left turn over here where these crystals are and we'll take another right again it's all just about following the crystals and nothing else I mean it's pretty self explanatory but don't fall off because you will have to restart this. Not the whole, not every single button, just this one. But it's not a good idea either way. So just don't do it. So keep following. I don't think this counts as a right. And uh, it's just all about following these blue crystals. So so yeah, I think we took the left, but we'll take the right. So go this way, go over here. Alright, so here's the tricky part. So these paths lead, all have crystals, but it's the middle one we want. So we're going to go down the middle one. So ignore the other two paths, they're going to lead you not in the right direction, and that won't be fun. So, And then you take the right, because there are more crystals this way. And then one more right, and we should be there. So that's going to be great. So we go this way. And that should mean that we're almost there. So go this way. Yep, here we go. Here it is. So go up this hill. Come on. So just climb up, and here we are. So once we get up here, we'll find the last button. Once we do that, we can. It'll. It should send us back to the beacon, or send us back to the grassy area. We can just walk to the beacon. But here's the final button. So we're just gonna go over here, press it until the particles appear. There we go. Yep, teleports us back to the beginning, and we can just walk all the way back. So we're going to cut to that, to where the beacon is. Just climb right up. Alright, so, once we're here, you can see that this is opened, fall in. And it teleports us to the Earth one. If you've made it here, congratulations, because this is the hardest one. If you did this one first, then you have easy ones to expect, so that'll be nice. But congratulations if you made it here. And if you've gotten all of them, then that means you can go in the main door and get the badge and get the sword. So, it'll s teleport us right back. Here we are. We'll go through the main door, and once we go through here, 
we will be right in here. And this is mostly the end of like the story achievements. The rest of them are just kind of miscellaneous. Um, but yeah, you can talk to this guy right over here. Talk to Valhalk, Valhack, whatever. So, Zorik is dead. Yada yada yada. Doesn't really matter. This whole spiel. But you will get the achievement. And you can leave the game. And rejoin the Vibe Cafe. And you will get this awesome looking sword. So, if you found this video helpful, please leave it a like. And comment and subscribe. Whatever you want to do. I do not care. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.